In this video, we'll be introducing Navigator for ArcGIS. Navigator for ArcGIS is a mobile app that gets your field workforce where it needs to be, unlocking efficiency and improving reliability. Use the data provided or your own data to search and navigate directly to your organization's assets. Interact seamlessly with Collector for ArcGIS and other applications and get reliable directions even when disconnected. The first time you start Navigator, you will need to sign in. You can sign in to your ArcGIS Online organization or a portal. I will sign in to ArcGIS Online. In order to use Navigator, you will need a subscription to ArcGIS Online and a subscription to Navigator for ArcGIS. Once licenses are purchased, organization administrators can enable user accounts to use Navigator. I will go ahead and sign in, typing username and password. The first time you sign in, you will be invited to download a map. Navigator for ArcGIS comes with access to an increasing number of maps hosted on ArcGIS Online. I will choose a map for my location, California, and download it. When the download completes, tap the map to open it. The first time you open a map, Navigator will ask to access your current location. Navigator uses your location to show you where you are on the map and to calculate directions from your current location. Navigator will automatically zoom in and center the map on your location. You can zoom out, pan the map, and rotate. The map is on my device and can be used without a connection to the internet. As you can see, I have a map for the state of California. Tap the position icon to zoom the map back to your location and tap the north arrow to reorient the map. Navigator is for finding directions. There are two basic ways to tell Navigator where you want to go. You can search for a location or put a pin on the map. Let's take a look at search. Tap the search icon and type in the name of a place, address, or coordinate that you want directions to or tap on recent search. I'll tap on Esri. The map updates to show the location of Esri. I'm currently on the campus, so it's not very far away. I can tap the result card to see more information about Esri. And I can tap the Get Directions icon to see a route from my current location. I will now clear this route and do something a little more interesting. Another way that I can add a stop to the map is to simply hold my finger on the map and drop a pin. I will pan the map to another location and place a pin. You can see that the pins card shows the address for the pins location. I'll now tap get directions to calculate directions for this location. From the directions summary, I also have access to travel modes. All of the maps that come with Navigator have travel modes. Travel modes take the type of road as well as time and distance into consideration when calculating the directions. For example, rural travel modes rank unpaved roads the same as paved roads. After reviewing the directions, simply tap Start Navigation to get turn-by-turn -turn guidance. Go north on New York Street. In 500 feet, turn right on West Redlands Boulevard. Turn right on West Redlands Boulevard. In 0.5 miles, turn right on North Eureka Street. While navigating, you can zoom in and out on the map. You can also tap the header to hear the voice instructions again. 0.5 miles. Turn right on North Eureka Street. Or tap the subheader to see turn-by-turn -turn directions. If you drive off route, Navigator will automatically calculate a new route based on your current location. You can also get directions to multiple locations. I will exit navigation mode and add another stop.
tap the Add Stop icon and search for a stop to add or drop a pin. I'll simply pan the map and drop a pin at a new location. Here I'll drop a pin at the park and simply tap to add the new stop to the route and recalculate. As you can see, the order of the stops is in the order that they were added. I can edit this route and change the stop order. Simply drag a stop to reorder the list. Click Done and the route is recalculated based on the new order. If you want to remove a stop, that can be done too. Tap Edit and remove the stop from the list. In summary, Navigator helps you figure out where you are and how to get where you need to go. This concludes our overview of Navigator for ArcGIS.